what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and i appreciate you being here today i want to cover what has been confirmed to be the release window for dlc 2 for destiny 2 and a few other things now this dlc 2 release window in my opinion isn't great news for us and the game now on twitter last night christopher about tweeted the following Expansion 2 will launch in May alongside Season 3. Now last night we got a roadmap of what's coming in Destiny 2 going forward and May was the last day it's covered up till. There was no mention of DLC 2 on the roadmap, hence why Barrett tweeted this. I personally thought DLC 2 would be coming out about March or April latest, but I believe they are following the same path of DLC releases as Destiny 1. As with Destiny 1, we got the Dark Below on December 9th, and then we got the House of Wolves on May 19th. Now the reason I did think the DLC might be coming out a little earlier is because of the game also needs it in its current state. But I do guess on the other hand we need bigger changes put in place for when the DLC lands for it to be successful. I said this a few weeks ago, if a DLC was to drop tomorrow within Destiny 2 the way it is right now, with the core problems the game has, a DLC won't change a thing, it would be a waste of content. I still feel the same now. Weapon and ability sandbox changes are coming on March 27th via the 1.1.4 update. What's actually happening within these changes we don't know yet. But I believe big changes are coming and to be honest they are needed for sure and they are needed before a DLC is dropped. If changes that were coming were minimal I believe we would have got them sooner. It also states that exotic and armor sandbox changes also will be dropped within this same update. They have mentioned at an earlier date that they want exotics to feel much more powerful and indeed they should do. If we read through the 1.1.4 update it kind of looks like changes are being made as a final step to get prepared for season 3 and the second DLC. This although is a mission away I feel is most probably the right call. If they need time to fix the game and get it to how players want it then they should take their time in doing so. Bungie rushing things doesn't work as we know with D2 as it was just one big rush title and now we are wanting to go back and play Destiny 1. I feel sandbox changes will be made in order to make the game feel much more like Destiny 1. With the addition of many things returning which were originally found in D1, I do feel this is the way the game's becoming, but that's good in my opinion. We had a great basis to build upon within Destiny 1, they failed terribly trying to reboot the game. I feel they know that now. So even though there's going to be a massive amount of downtime between now and DLC 2, if the right changes are made between now and then, it will save the game. If the right changes are not met though, I feel that's it for Destiny and Bungie. I am confident though now, while the game is dead, they are desperate to get back their player base and will be doing everything needed to do that. So we're going to move on. And I wasn't the only one to notice this about the roadmap, and it did get a few people worried. The Eater Worlds Raid Layer Armour requires Prestige Mode for some if not all the ornaments, yet that won't be coming until Season 3 with the 1.2.0 update in May. Now this puzzled many people, why leave it so late? Will we be even able to get these ornaments within Season 3? What's the point in having a Prestige Mode in May when a new DLC is coming out? With no doubt, new raid gear within that new raid layer too. Will we be able to still obtain these ornaments in Season 3? Was the question many people were wondering. Well, Fitzy on Twitter asked Barrett the following. Will we be able to get Prestige Argos ornaments in Season 3 since Prestige Argos isn't happening in Season 2? Barrett replied with, we won't let anyone miss out on rewards. Expect more info on the Prestige layer soon. So there we have it, straight from the horse's mouth. We won't miss out. That to be honest though still don't excuse the point of them making us wait so damn long to unlock such ornaments but I'm pretty sure they have their reasons. So lastly these roadmaps, they are great, they give clear indication of things coming to the game. It's something I feel we and the game needs going forward so are they a regular thing? Barrett was asked can we get these roadmaps more often, it's great knowing what we've got to look forward to. Barrett replied with that's the plan. And that is great news, these roadmaps are clear dates of content and changes and it's something we wanted from the start. Bungie again getting their priorities right. And on that note guys, I am out. Thanks for stopping by as always, if you enjoyed the video leave a like, it really does help me out and hopefully people I will see you on that next one.